Okay. We have here ratio and proportion. When we say ratio and proportion, so it's a comparison to numbers or quantities. So pag sinabing a ratio is a comparison between two numbers or quantities. It can be written as colon form and fraction form. So ang, ang ratio, pwede natin siyang isulat as colon form. Colon form or di kaya fraction form. So, paano bang isura ng colon form? Kapag sinabi natin colon form, naka-colon siya. Ibig sabihin, meron siyang colon. For example, we have here 10. Then, lalagyan natin ng colon. Tutuldok sa Tagalog, di ba? Then, 20. And we can read it as 10 is to 20. Okay? So, ganyan yung pag-colon form. Then, pwede natin yung, ano, yung colon, we can read it. So, 10 is to 20. Pwede natin siyang, ang babasa natin siya na 10 is to 20. Okay? Pag naka-colon form siya. Ganyan natin si and we can read it as 10 is to 20. So, kapag, kapag naka-colon form, pwede natin siyang gawing fraction form with the same number na 10 pati 20. O di kaya fraction form, gagawin natin siyang colon form. So kapag colon form, meron siyang colon or total dog, di ba? And we can read it as 10 is to 20. So paano naman natin siyang gagawin fraction form? Di ba pag fraction, we have a numerator and the denominator. So we have 10, yung unang number natin, that will be our numerator. And the second number will be our denominator. So in fraction form, if we write 10 is to 20 in fraction form, we have 10 over 20. Okay? And this is the fraction form. So, para sa sana number, pwede natin gawin yung column form into a fraction form. Na from column form, we can write it as fraction form or from fraction form, we can write it to column form. Na parehas na naman sila. So, kapag column form, babasahin natin siya 10 is to 20. Kapag fraction form, babasahin natin siya na 10 over 20. Okay? But, uh, but are read as 10 is to 20. Okay? Pwede ba, o di kaya, pwede natin silang basahin parehas na 10 is to 20. So, but commonly sa fraction, we can read it as 10 over 20. Pero sa column lang yung is to. Pero pa Para pareha sila, pwede natin silang basahin ng 10 is to 20. Okay? So, ganito. So, another example ng column form. For example, we have here 2 is to 4. Okay? And pwede natin siyang gawin na 2 is to 4 then in the fraction form naman, or 2 over 4. Okay? Naunawaan ba kung paano yung column form nagiging fraction form or di kaya yung fraction form, gagawin natin column form, vice versa lang siya. Okay? Ngayon, if we have a column form or fraction form, pwede natin silang i-lowest term. Or, sabihin natin na ratio can also be written in simplest form. We simplify ratio like we simplify fraction. So, for example, we have here 10 is to 20. So, let's have a divider here. 10 is to 20. Na-equal din naman siya sa 10 is to 20, diba? Yan. Ang 10 is to 20, pwede natin siyang gawa ng lowest term. Diba? Ang 10 is to 20, pwede natin siyang gawa ng lowest term. Paano natin siya gagawin lowest term? Diba ang 10 pati 20, pwede natin silang i-divide both side by 10. Kasi kung haanapin natin GCF ni 10 pati 20, magkakaroon tayo ng GCF or di kaya pwede natin i-divide si 10 pati si 20 kay 10 parehas. So, i-divide natin parehas si 10 pati si 20 kay 10. So, if we have here 10 divided by 20, ay 10 divided by 10 or 20 divided by 10. So, magkaroon tayong 10 divided by 10. That is 1. 
and 20 divided by 10, that is 2. So, meron tayong lowest term na 10 over, 10 over 20 or 10 is to 20, meron tayong lowest term na 1 half. So, ganyan din naman kay 10 is to 20 sa colon form. Pwede natin siyang i-lowest term or i-simplest form or write it as simplest form. So, tiba meron tayong 10 is to 20. So, isip lang tayo kung kanina natin sila pwede i-divide. So, 10, pwede natin silang i-divide parehas kay 10. Diba? So, 10 over 10. Kapag nakakita tayo ng fraction na ganyan, tiba ino-over lang naman natin sa or dinidivide. 10 divided by 10, so magkaroon tayo ng 1. Then, 20 divided by 10, magkaroon naman tayo ng 2. So, meron tayong may sasagot na 1 over 2. So, ang lowest term pala ni... Ni 10, of, ni 10 is to 20 is 1 is to 2. So, pwede natin silang isulat as lowest term. So, kapag sinusulat natin ang lowest term, na meron na ibig sabihin, yung 10 is to 20, pwede natin siyang is simplest term na 1 is to 2. Kada isa, meron dalwa Okay? So, kada isa, meron dalwa Or kada sampo, merong 20 naman dalawang po. Okay? So, parehas lang naman, tiba? Kasi pag sinulat natin si colon form na 1 is to 2, pwede natin siyang isulat na 1 half. Same na nandito sa ating fraction. Diba? Same lang siya doon sa ating fraction. Naunawaan? So, ganun yung ating paglalawis form. Another example kung paano tayo maglo-lowest term. So, burangin ko lang to. Or magsisimplest form. For example, meron tayong 4 is to 12. So, do you think, what is the number that can we divide 4 and also 12? So, meron tayong 12, 4 is to 12. Isip kayo na number na pwede natin i-divide kay 4, na pwede din naman natin i-divide kay 12. Isang number lang na pwede i-divide kay 4, pati kay 12. 4. 4. Okay. So, when we divide 4, so, para sa atin silang i-divide kay 4. 4 divided by 4 and 12 divided by 4. So, what is 4 divided by 4? That is 1. And 12 divided by 4, that is? What is 12 divided by 4? 3. 3. So, meron tayong 1 is to 3. Kapag meron tayong 12 is to, 4 is to 12, so lowest term ni 4 is to 12 is 1 is to 3. Okay? So, parehas na natin kasi yung dinivide kay 4. So, ang lowest term ni 4 is to 12 is 1 is to 3. So, kung nakasulat naman tayo yung fraction form, diba? we have 4 over 12. Then, isusulat natin ang kanyang simplest form. Good morning, Piero. Then, susulat natin ang simplest form ni 4 over 12. So, sabi nyo nga, pwede divide natin si 4. Ay, si 4 pati si 12, pwede natin i-divide kay 4. So, divide natin pareha si 4 pati si 12 kay 4. So, magkaroon tayo ng 4 divided by 4, that is 1. And 12 divided by 4, that is 3. So, 1 third. So, meron tayong 1 is to 3 or 1 over 3. Parehas lang naman sila ng value. Okay? So, even it is a fraction form or colon form, parehas lang naman silang 1 pati 3. Okay? 1 is to 3 or di kaya 1 over 3. Naunawaan? Okay, naunawaan. So, for example, we have 5 is to 6. May, low, may simplest form pa ba si 5 is to 6? Wala po. Wala. Kasi si 5 is a prime number, while si 6 naman composite number. So, prime number na si 5, so hindi na natin sila makukuhaan ng simplest 
4. Diba? Hindi, wala na tayo may isip na number na pwedeng i-divide kay 5 pati kay 6 na same number lang. So, 5 is to 6, simplest form na siya. So, kung gagawin natin siyang fraction form, that is 5 over 6. So, that's na ganyan lang kasimple. Okay? Malinaw sa pagsisimplest form. Okay. So, punta tayo sa operation nila. So, pandaan natin to. Diba, we have A is to B. A is to B equals C is to D. Okay? So, ipagmumultiply natin sila. Kapag nakakita tayo ng operation na A is to B is equals C is to D, so, we're going to multiply it. Pero sino-sino yung pagmumultiply natin? So, tandaan natin to. We have the means and also we have the extremes. Ito yung means natin. Si B pati si C, that is our means. So, kapag sinabi natin means, sila yung nasa gitna. Okay? That is our means. Yung B pati C, sila yung ating pagmumultiply. And also, we have the extremes. Ito namang dalwa si A naman pati si D, yung ating extremes. Ibig sabihin, silang dalwa yung ating pagmumultiply. Okay? So, we have the A is to B. Then, we have A is to B, then equals to C is to B. So, we have the means and we have the extremes. Doon sa means pati sa extremes, sila yung ating ipag-multiply. So, as we can see, yung means are the inside terms of a proportion. Diba? Sila yung nasa gitna. Yung means natin, kaya siya sinawag na means kasi siya yung nasa gitna ng ating proportion na A is to B is equals to A is C is to D. While yung extremes naman are the outside terms of our proportion. So yan naman yung nasa outside terms. Two ratios are said to be proportional if the means and the extremes are equal. Malalaman natin kung proportional ba sila kapag yung means natin and extremes ay equal. Okay? So, try natin to. So, try natin to. Diba kanina naglo-lowest term tayo? So, malalaman natin kung equal, kung equal ba sila. For example, we have 5 is to 6. So, let din natin ito. Ah. 5 is to 6 equals 30 is to 35. 30 is to 35. Okay? So, anong gagawin natin dito? Let's say, let's see if these two proportion is equal. Kapag hindi sila equal, Malalaman naman natin kung hindi sila equal kapag pinag-multiply na natin sila. Okay? So, paano sir ang gagawin? Diba, we have the extremes and also we have the means. So, tinan natin. Ito yung, ating ex ito yung ating means, then also ito naman yung ating extreme. Yung nas dalawa na sa loob, then dalawa na sa laba. Okay, unahin natin si 5 pati si 35. Si 5, we're going to multiply 5 to 35. 5 times 35. Diba? Kasi ang kasama ni 5 is si 35. Which is our extremes. Then equal natin siya by 6. Kanin natin yung multiply si 6? Kanin na yung multiply?
30. 30, very good. 36 naman ay mamultiply natin kay 30. Ngayon, pag-multiply nyo sila. Kapag equal yung sagot nila, ibig sabihin they are equivalent. Okay? If they are equivalent ratio. So, kapag, kapag minultiply natin sila and nag, we, they have the same answer, it means they are equivalent ratio. So, tingnan natin, 35 times 5. So, 5 times 35, that is 25. So, okay, 1. So, 5 times 3, that is 15 plus 2, 175. So, meron tayong 175 dito sa ating left side. So, try naman natin multiply 6 times 30. 30 times 6. So, 0 times 6, 0. 6 times 3, 80. 18. So, meron tayong 180. Are they have the same answer or not? So, kung hindi sila equal, kasi yung isa 175 and yung isa naman 180. So, they are not equal. So, it means this is not equivalent ratio. Equivalent ratio. Okay? Yun yung ilalagay natin. They are not equivalent ratio. Bakit sir not equivalent? Kasi hindi naman magkatulad si 175 pati si 180. Hindi sila equivalent. Okay? So, kapag na-multiply natin, doon natin malalaman if they are equivalent ratio or not equivalent ratio. Since like na nakita natin na hindi sila equal, so they are not equivalent ratio. Naunawaan? So, copy nyo muna bago, na, bago ko burahin. Copy. Okay, pwede ko na bang barahin? So, kapag na-multiply na natin yung extreme pati means at hindi sila parehas ang lumabas, so they are not equivalent ratio. Okay? So, another example. So, we have 12 is to 16. 12 is to 16. Then equals 3 is to 4. So let's see, tinan natin kung equivalent ratio pa tong 12 is to 16 pati 3 is to 4. So paano natin malalaman? So pag multiply natin si means pati si extremes. Diba? So ang extremes natin, we have 12 times 4. Tama ba? 12 times 4, kasi ang kasama ni 12 ay si 4, which is the outer. Diba? And we have 16 times 3. And that is our means. 16 times 3. So, pag multiply natin, 12 times 4, that is 2 times 4, that is 8. Then, 4 times 1, that is 4. So, we have 48. So, let's see naman if we multiply 16 times 3. 16 times 3. So, 6 times 3, that is 18. Tama, 18. So, carry 1. 3 times 1, that is 3 plus 1, 48. So, what can you see? It's equivalent. Okay. Since they are equal, so equal sila, tiba? Kasi... 48 equals 48. So, this two ratio is equivalent ratio. Equivalent ratio. Ratio. Ibig sabihin, si 12, 12 is to 16, pati 3 is to 4 is equivalent ratio. Okay? So, si 12, yung 12 
is to 16 natin, but to 4, this is equivalent. They are equivalent ratio. Okay? But 12 to 16 pala, pati 3 is to 4, equivalent ratio sila. Kasi sinod natin at... Yes? Ano yung Johan? Can I go to the bathroom? Okay. You can. Okay. So, alaman natin na they are equivalent ratio. Naunawaan ba? Do you have any question? So, may tanong ba, Piero? James? No. Okay. So, let's have another example. So, copy nyo lang ng copy o screenshot nyo lang ng screenshot, ha? Okay? So, for example naman, meron tayong fraction. Kasi kanina, ratio lang yung ating pinapakita, diba? So, ratio kanina, for example naman, fraction. Halimbawa, we have here 4 is to, 5, 4 is to 5, but fraction form. 4 is to 5 is equals to 12 is to 25. 12 is to 25. So, how can we identify if these two fraction are equivalent or not? So, tatanungin natin, is this equivalent or not? 4 is to 5 is equal ba kay 12 is to 15? Ay 25, diba? So, tinan natin kung they are equivalent or not. So, kanina, meron tayong means and extremes. Ngayon naman, dito kay... Dito pala, di ko na binira. Sa pag-fraction naman, so we have A over B then equals to C over D, diba? So, ang gagawin natin, ipag-cross-cross multiply natin. So, when we say cross multiply, itong A, i-multiply natin kay D. Gagawa tayo ng pa-cross. Then, si B naman, i-multiply natin kay C. Okay? Ganyan. When we say cross multiplication, i-cross multiply natin. Ang mangyayari, si A, si A, ita-times natin kay B, then si B naman, ita-times natin kay C. Okay? Kasi that is cross multiplication. O diba? So, katulad dito, we have 4 over 5 is equal to 12 over 25. So, it means we're going to cross multiply these two ratio. So, yung 4, ita times natin kay 25. Then, yung 5 naman, ita times natin kay 12. And let's see if they have equal ratio or equivalent ratio ba sila. Can you nga ulit natin ita times si 4? 4 times what? 5, 25. 5, 25. 4 times 25. Then, lagyan natin ng equal sign. Si 5, kanina natin nita times si 5? Okay, very good. Kahit 12 naman natin nita times si 5. Kasi that is cross multiplication. Then, pag multiply na natin, we have 25 times 4. So, 5 times 4, that is 20. So, carry 2. 4 times 2, that is 8. Plus 2, that is 100. So, meron tayong 100 sa ating left side ng equation. So, try naman natin yung multiply si 5 to 12 times 5 or 5 times 12. So, 12 times 5. 2 times 5, that is 10. Carry 1. 5 times 1, that is 5 plus 1, 60. Diba? So, meron tayong 60. So, uh, based on our answer, we have 100 equals 60. 
Are these equivalent ratio or not equivalent ratio? Ano to? Equivalent or not? So, this is not equivalent. Kasi hindi naman sila magkatulad, diba? So, not equivalent ratio. Okay? So, hindi naman kasi naging magkatulad or not equal si 100 pati si 60. So, this two ratio, ang ratio na 4 is to 5 pati 12 is to 25 or 4, 12 over 25 is not equivalent ratio. Okay? So, they are not equivalent ratio. So let's have another example. Pwede na ba? Magsusulat sa atas siya. Ay, si Piero. Sige. Tapos ka na magsulat, James? Okay. So another example. So we have 16 over 8, 16 over 8, then equals to 8 over 9. So cross multiplication natin sila, tiba? So si 16, multiply natin kay 9. 16 times 9. So, this one should be 18. 18 pala ito ha. Yan, 18. So, equals natin kay 18 times 8. Okay. So, we have 16 times 9, then equals to 18 times 8. Dahil prinas multiply na natin yung dalawang fraction natin or dalawang ratio. Ngayon, pag multiply natin, 16 times 9, So, we have 6 times 9, that is 54. Tama, diba? 54. Then, 9 times 1, that is 9, plus 5, 14. So, we have 144. So, 9, 16 times 9, that is 144. Then, equals natin, okay, 18 times 9, multiply naman natin si 18. 18 times 8 pala, sorry. 18 times 8. So, 8 times 8, that is 64. Then, six, 8 times 1, that is 8, plus 6, that is 14. So, they have 144 also. So, 144 on the left and also 144 on the right side of the equation. Are these equivalent or not equivalent ratio? Equivalent. Equivalent. So, equivalent ratio na siya because they have equals ratio naman sila. Which is 144 is equals to 144. So, equivalent ratio na siya. Okay? Ganun. Magiging equivalent ratio na siya kasi 144 na yung kanyang parehas na sagot, na product. Okay? So, cross-multiplication lang natin sila. Ito, cross-multiplication lang natin. Okay? Naunawaan ba? Sinong may tanong? Wala naman. So, take a copy. Then, di-delete ko na din siya. So, dito naman sa next part, finding the unknown part, unknown value of a proportion. We're going to find the unknown value in a proportion. Find the unknown value in a proportion. 
Ibig sabihin, meron dito nawawalang value. Or gawin natin, that is the value of n sa ating proportion. Siyempre, sa proportion natin, meron naman tayo a over b sa fraction. Then, c over b. So, cross multiplication lang dito. So, for example, we have the ratio of 2 is to 3. So, we have 2 is to 3 is equals to n is to 18. So, meron tayong, meron tayong letter n. At yung letter n na yun, hahanapin natin what is the value of that letter n. Ano nga ba yung value ng that letter n? So, magamit natin siya. So, gagamitin natin dito si proportion. Yung ating ray colon form. Pwede natin gamitin yung proportion ng ating colon form. Paano yan? So, iba, multiply natin si 3 pati si n. Okay? Then, mong multiply din naman natin si 2 pati si 18. So, kapag multiply natin si 3 pati si n, so, we have 3 times n, diba? 3 times n equals kay 2 times 18. 2 times 18. So, multiply natin yan. What, kapag pinag-multiply natin si 3 times n, diba? Paano yan, sir? Letter yung isa. We have the letter. Variables, kung tawagin ng iba. Na, that is what we call variables. We have 3 times n. Kapag nakakita kayo ng letter or ng variables, ang gagawin natin, ipagsasamahan lang natin yung letter pati variable. When we 3 multiply to n, that is 3n. Okay? Magkakaroon, magiging 3n lang siya. Pinagsama lang natin sila. So, we have 3n. Then, we have 2 times 18. What is 2 times 18? Multiply nyo. What is 2 times 18? Uh, 36. 36. Okay. So, we have 36. So, hindi pa natin nahanap yung value ni N. So, nakikita nyo, what is the number na kasama ni N? 3. So, we're going to divide both sides to eliminate 3 kay N. So, i-divide natin both sides kay 3. So, tatandaan natin to ha. Kung sino yung number na kasama ni N, i-divide natin parehas sa number na yon. Since ang kasama ni N is 3, i-divide natin parehas sila kay number 3. Okay? So, sino yung kasama ni N? Si number 3. So, kaya i-divide natin, we're going to divide both sides by number 3. So, cancel si 3, cancel si 3. So, cancel natin, cancel si 3, cancel si 3 matitira si letter N. Okay? Then, ito naman, 36 divided by 3. What is 36 divided by 3? Divide nga natin, 36 divided by 3. So, we have 3 yung nasa labas, then si 36 yung nasa loob. 3 divided by 3, that is 1. 1 times 3, that is 3. Then, subtract natin. 3 minus 3, that is 0. So, bring down natin si 6. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Then, 2 times 3, that is 6. So, subtract again. 6 minus 6, that is 0. So, there is no more number to bring down or to drag down. So, we have the answer of 12. So, ang value ni n is number 12. Okay? Si number 12 na yung kasama nito. Naunawaan? Yes. Okay. How about the other? Naunawaan ba natin class? Okay. So, para mahanap natin yung value ni n, ganyan ang gagawin natin. Also, ganyan din naman kay fraction form. 
So I would like to erase it. So screenshot or copy it now. Okay na ba? Pwede ko nang burahin? Yes. Okay. So, what if fraction form naman siya? Kasi ito, anong, anong form to? Colon form, di ba? Naka-colon form. Paano pag fraction form naman siya? And then, yung isang number is unknown pa din. For example, we have here 5n. 5 over n pala, sorry. 5 over n is equals to 20 over 28. 20 over 28. So, like what I said earlier, gamitin natin ito, cross multiplication. Diba? So, cross multiply natin yan. Muna-muna, we have 5 times 28. Diba? 5 times 28. Then, equals natin siya kay n times 20. n times 20. Okay? So, meron pa rin tayong letter n. At yun yung hahanapin natin. What is the value of that letter n? So, multiply na natin. 5 times 28. So, lagyan natin 28 times 5. 8 times 5, that is 40. 34. 5 times 2, that is 10. 140. 140. So, meron tayong 140 sa ating left side. Then, what is n times 20? N times 20. 20 n. 20 n. Very good. Magiging 20 n lang siya. Sin pinagsama lang natin sila. Magiging 20 n. Okay? Then, anong sunod natin gagawin? We're going to ano? I-divide natin sila parehas, di ba? Kanino natin sila i-divide parehas? 20. Okay, kay 20. Bakit kay 20? Kasi siya yung kasama ni letter N. Kailangan ma-eliminate natin mawala natin kung sino yung kasama ni letter N. And we can do that by dividing both sides to that number. At dahil si 20 ang kasama ni N, di-divide natin sila parehas kay 20. Okay? Divide natin parehas sa 20. So, cancel si 20. Cancel si 20. Matitira si letter N. So, and we have 140 divided by 20. So, divide natin yon 20. 20 yung nasa labas at 140 naman yung nasa loob. So, pwede nating 20, 14 divided by 20. So, hindi siya pwede, tiba. So, gawin na natin 140. Ilang 20 meron kay 140? Seven. Seven. Very good. So we have seven. So seven times zero, that is zero. Seven times two, that is fourteen. So one hundred forty minus one hundred forty, that is zero. There is no more number to be dragged down or bring down, diba? So we have the answer of seven. Yes. N is equal to 7. Or 7 equals to N. So, okay lang kahit magkabay ka 7 equals to N or N equals to 7. Para Okay? So, this is our final answer. Naunawaan ba natin? Yes. Yes. Okay, so copy, copy. So we have here problem solving. So anyone who wants to read problem solving, Jasmine is taking care.
Go Johan. So Johan kindly read Jasmine is taking care of plants. Jasmine is taking care of plants at the garden. She used nine liters of water in watering 24 plants. How much water will be used in watering 40 plants? Okay. So we can use even colon forms or fraction forms. Kahit ano, pwede natin gamitin. So, sabi dito, si Jasmine, nag-aalaga daw siya ng halaman or ng plants, di ba? Taking care. So, nagdididig siya noon. And the first one, she uses 9 liters of water in watering 24 plants. Nakagamit daw siya ng 9 liters ng water kapag nagdididig siya ng 24 plants. So, when we write it, yung 9 liters, so 20 is to 24 plants. So we can write it as 9 is to 24. Diba? And yung 9, that is the liters of water. At yung 24 naman, that is the plants. So yung 9, liters of water yon. Liters of water. Diba? At yung 24 naman, that is for the plants. Ngayon, tinatanong dito, how much water would be used in watering for the plants? So, i-equal natin siya sa pangalawa nating equation. Sabi dito, how much water? So, ang tinatanong natin is, yung liters of water, di ba? Yun yung nawawala kasi meron tayong 40 plants. So, paano natin siya isusulat? N is to 20, N is to 40 o 40 is to N? 40 is to N. Alin dito yung gagamitin natin? N is to 40 o 40 is to N? Do you think class? Alen? N is to 40. Bakit N is to 40? So, tama yung N is to 40. So, bakit N is to 40 ang gagamitin natin, hindi 40 is to N? Kasi po yung liters po ng water ang pinahamit. Okay, very good. Diba, liters of water yung nawawala. So, liters of water din yung ating letter N, diba? Bago dito sa una nating equation, ay sa una nating ratio, diba? Ano na una niyang nilagay? Liters of water. Kung liters of water yung nauna natin, yung 9 kasi, that is the liters of water. Kung yung liters of water ang inuna natin, Sa second ratio natin, dapat mauuna din si liters of water. Okay? Diba yung N natin, that is the liters of water, kaso unknown pa siya. Unknown, unknown liters of water. Diba? Unknown liters of water pa siya. Pero that is our letter N. Kaya dapat mauuna pa rin si liters of water kaysa kay plant. Yung 40 natin, that is our plants, di ba? That is our plants. So, pwede na natin ma-solve. So, sabi dito, how much water would be used in watering 40 plants? Kung 40 plants na yung kanyang dinididigan, pwede na natin malaman kung ilang liters of water ang kanyang ginagay. Okay? So, solve natin. Di ba, meron tayo ditong, itong gagamitin natin, extremes pati means. Ibig sabihin, mamultiply natin si 9 kay 40, then si 24 naman kay n. Diba? Multiply natin. We have 9 times 40. 
9 times 40, then equals natin kay 24 times n. Tama ba? Ganyan, diba? Okay. 9 times 40, multiply natin. 40 times 9. Yeah, 360 degrees. Anong 360 degrees? 360. Bakit may degrees? 360 lang. Okay. So, tama naman 360. Okay. So, we have 360. Naging, naging degrees bigla. Eh. So, 24 times n. What is 24 times n? Twenty four times n, it will become twenty four n. Pinagsama lang natin twenty four n. Okay, then we're going to divide both side. Kani natin sila di divide both side. Kira no water. Side. Kanin natin sila yung divide both side. Anong number? 24. 24. Cancel natin si 24. Cancel natin si 24. Matitira na lang si letter N dito. Sa so isa kabila. Bago yung divide natin si, si 360 kay 24. So, divide natin 360 divided 24. So, 360 then 24. So, dito muna tayo kay 36. 36 divided 24. Divided by 24. What is the answer? Ilang 24 meron kay 36? 1 lang, di ba? 15. 15. Wow, naisagot agad 15. So this is 1. So we have 24. Then, subtract natin, 336 minus 24, we have 12. Then, when bring down 0, 120 divided by 24, that is 5. So, 5 times 24, 5 times 4, that is 20. Carry 1, 2 times 5, 10, plus 2. Kasi meron tayong, ano, credit to na 2. So, we have 12. So, 120 minus 120, that is 0. So we have the answer of 15. So n is equal to 15. So ilan liters daw ang magagamit natin kapag nagtanim siya ay nagdidig siya ng 40 plants? Sure, zero. Wala na. No zero plant. Diba we have the n is equal to 15? Ay, diba? sure, 15. 15. Diba ang tanong natin, how much water would be used in watering 40 plants? Diba? So, kung nag-water siya ng 40 plants, diba ang ating equation dito is 9 is to 24. So, sabi, 9 liters, 24 plants na nadidiligan. N numbers equals to 40 plants naman na nadidiligan. Diba ang value ng N natin? Anong value ng N natin? That is 15. Ngayon, kung 15 liters, 40 plants naman yung ating madidiligan. Kaya 9 is to 24, then 15 is to 40. So yung value ng N natin, that is 15. Okay? That is 15. Naunawaan? Yes. 